Hello, hello. Hi, Wesley. How are you doing today? I am fine. Oh, good. Good morning to you. So tell me, what did you do yesterday? I, I, I play a video game. Ah, video game. What game was that? What is it called? Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, you have the Sonic the Hedgehog video games? How cool is that? All right. And let's see, what else can we ask you? What are you going to do today after class? Play a video game. Are you going to play Sonic the Hedgehog too? Yeah, okay, good. And how is the weather today in Ta Taipei? It's mm, fine. It's fine? Okay, is it sunny? Yeah. Yeah, it's sunny today? Okay, let's see what kind of class we have today to look at. Let's see. All right, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. All right. So the question is, where did you go today? I know it's early in the morning, but did you go anywhere today? No. No. Okay. Do you think you will go somewhere today? No. No. Did you go anywhere yesterday? Yes. Yeah, okay. Where did you go yesterday? I was going to find my auntie. Oh, you went to go find your auntie. And did you find her? Yes. Uh-huh, okay. And where did you find her at? This is not trouble. Where did you find find your auntie? At her house? Mm. Was she, was she at, at? Uh, in a Taiwan um, house. Like a store? Yes. Yeah, okay. Very good. Wonderful. All right, so let me see. Do you know what this one is called right here? The one that I'm circling? Car. Car. It's a car. And how about this one? Do you know what this is called? Bus. It's bus, but it's bus. a special kind of bus. There's two stories. <clears throat> this is a two-story bus. How about this one? What is this one called? Ship. A ship. Ship. Good. What about this green thing right here? <clears throat> Mm, I don't know. This is called a tent. Can you say tent? Tent. 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 Good. Good work. Now, let's look at the pictures and find a place that you would rather go to. Which place would you rather go to? Can you describe it to me? I don't know. Would you rather go to the beach right here or the big city? Yes. With all the skyscrapers. Big city. Oh, big city. Okay. How about Japan? When you went to Japan, did it look more like this one, this one, or this one? This one, the swimming pool. Ah, oh, with the swimming pool. Very nice. Okay. Did you go across <clears throat> any bridges when you went to Japan? <clears throat> no. No. Yes. Oh, you did. Okay. All right. Very good. Let's see what else we have. If you can never buy stuck. anything from Apple, you can use Beachbody. It's a broadly extension that automatically applies to the I'm going to close it. 
We'll do another one because that one's not working. So, what did you eat this morning for breakfast? A mm. bread. Mm. Did you have your chocolate bread and your chocolate milk? I don't know why this is not working. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's do some reading. Let's read about the museum. What does it say right here? Can you read? Yes, just follow along. Okay, it says. Our school took us on a road trip to a dinosaur museum today. Have you ever been to a dinosaur museum? No. No. Hmm. Would you want to go to a dinosaur museum? Mm, yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. I think it would be really fun to go to a dinosaur museum. How about this one? What does this one say? I, I love going going to the airport airport <coughs> banana house because because it makes me I, I mean I I am good going this is going going to travel travel good so it says, I love going to the airport because it means I am I am going to travel. So when you went to Japan, did you fly there in an airplane? Yes. Yes, so that means you had to go to an airport. Do you like going to the airport? Mm, yes. Yeah. Is there lots of people at the airport? Are there a lot of people at the airport? Yes. Yeah, sometimes. Okay. Do you bring a lot of bags with you on the airplane? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So now we are going to read the, the questions and then the answers to find out where these people are located. Where is he? Where is he? He, he is at the hospital. Where is she? He is I love cafe. 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 Mm -hmm. What can you get at the cafe? Cafe. Mm -hmm. What do you do? You know what you do at the cafe? No. We drink coffee Jake. and hot, hot tea and hot cocoa. Very good. And what do we do at the hospital? Mm. What do we do there? Sleep. 
Yes, maybe we get some rest. Yes, very good. Okay. Now, where is she? Where? Hello? She is. She is at the museum. He yeah. is at the airport. Good. Now I'm going to ask you, where are you? I am at the airport. Are you at the airport right now? Yes. No, you are at your house right now, right? No. You're at the airport? Where are you going to yes. fly? Where are you going to fly to, I wonder? Mm. Are you going to go back? Ah, Japan. You lucky. All right, very good. So let's talk about museums. Have you ever been to a museum before? No. No. What would you see there? at the museum. Mm, dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. And what else do you think you can see at museums? Mm. Do they have art at art museums? Yes. Yeah. They also have airplane museums. What do you think you can see there? At, I don't know. At airplane museums, you would see old airplanes. Okay, very good. Now let's read these uh, sentences. Can you read? Yes, just follow along. This is where you might see a dinosaur. Where do you think this would be? Hmm. At a school? Museum. Yes. What kind of museum? What kind of museum? Dinosaurs museum. Yes. Excellent. A dinosaur museum. Number two. You can come here to relax and drink tea, coffee, and eat a sweet treat. What do you think this is? Coffee. Cafe. Cafe. Number three. If you need to go somewhere really far away, this is where you will go. What do you think this is? An airport or a playground? Would it be an, a playground or an airport? Mm, a playground. No, if you go really far away. Far away, you would have to go to an airport to fly there. Okay. Number four, this is where you go almost every day to learn something new. Where would this be? What does this one say? School. School, yes. This is where you would go to learn something new. Do you learn something new every time you go to school? Mm, yes. Yeah, this is good. Very good. That is a whole perfect. Now let's do some spelling. What are the missing letters that go here? Oh. Mm. Close. Museum. You, you. What do you think? It's the letter U. M, U, S. What do you think goes here? E, um. Close. It makes the E sound, but it's actually going to be the letter I. So the U and an I. Good. Uh, what do you think goes here for airport? A. 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 Er, er, er. R. Good. Airport. Excellent job. Now, can you put museum into a sentence? 
This is a museum. Very good. What about this one? This is an airport. Excellent. Good work, Leslie. Mm -hmm. Now, is he at the mall? No, he is at the mall. He is at the hospital. Excellent job. Is he at the pool? Is she at school? Yes, yeah, she is at school. Good, good work. Is she at the hospital? No. <clears throat> she is at the cafe. Cafe. <clears throat> cafe. Good. Cafe. Okay, so now we're going to read these sentences and you tell me which one is correct. She are on the museum with her friend. Is that correct? Yes. Hmm. She are on. Or is it she is at? <coughs> she at. Yes, she is at. Okay, next one. He is going to the airport to travel. Is this correct? Mm, yes. Yes, it is. Very good. How about this one? They is at the mall. Is that correct? No. No. What is it supposed to say? They are at the mall. Good. They are at the mall. Excellent job. Perfect. And where is he? He is at the hospital. Good. And where is she? She is at a coffee. Can you say cafe? Cafe. Cafe. Good. That's how you say it. Perfect. All right. And what would be the question? Where is she? Good. Where is she? She is at the cafe. Where is he? He is at the hospital. Excellent work. Perfect. Okay, and where is he? He is at the hospital. He is at the... Where is she? What is it called? What is it called? Where is she? Mm. Coffee. Cafe. Cafe. All right, good work. Cafe. Okay, hold on. Getting stuck again. Okay, there we go. So how fast can you name these pictures? What is this one? Hmm. Cafe. Not cafe. Can you read the letters that are on the building? Hmm. Post office. Good. Post office. So what, what do we do at the post office? Do you know? It's a love. We mail letters to friends. We mail letters. Have you ever mailed a letter? No. No? Okay. <laughs> and what about this one? He is giving this man some money. Where do you think it is? Hospital. Hospital? Mm, close. Um, it's actually going to be a bank. Okay. A bank. 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 
Alright, so we're going with the hands. It's getting stuck again. Hold on. Why are you getting stuck? Okay, we're going to take a wiggle break, a stretch break. Ready? Let's stretch. You want to stretch? <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, and show and tell. Do you have any fun toys today? Yes, wait a moment. Okay, I'll wait for you. Wait a moment. Okay, I'll wait. Wait a moment. That's kind of loud. It's kind of loud, you guys. Why is it spoken up to Okay. Okay, what do you have to This get? is a Lego. A Lego? Lego. Oh, what do you do with Legos? Play. Ah, you play with Legos. Very nice. Do you build things? Yes. Yes. Yeah, you build things. Okay. Do you build race cars mm. or buildings? <coughs> On in race cars. Ooh, race car. <coughs> Very cool. And what are the colors? Mm -mm. What are the colors? Mm -mm. Yellow. Mm, I like yellow. Very cool. Thank you, Wesley, for sharing those. Mm -mm. Okay, so now we're going to describe what you see in these pictures. So what would you what would you describe? I see. <clears throat> I don't know. How about these right here? Would you take these on vacation or to the hospital? To the vacation. Vacation, right? How about a coconut tree? Would you see this in the hospital or on vacation? Vacation. Yes, very nice. Vacation. How about this right here? Would you see this in the hospital or vacation? Yes. <clears throat> Which hospital? Hospital. And do you know what it does? Hospital. Yeah. And what does it do? Yeah. It. You put it up to your chest, and you I can. Don't. You can hear your heartbeat. Okay. Okay. Mm. All right. So let's see which one is correct. She's gotten sick, so he had to go to hospital. Is this correct or incorrect? Yes. Hmm. I think it's correct. In, I think it's incorrect. So she has gotten sick. So she had to go to the hospital. How about the second one? Will you read this one? Yeah. Can you read this one? No. No? Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's follow along. He wants to go to a vacation with his family. Is this one correct? Mm, yes. No. He wants. We would have to add an S right here. He wants to go on a vacation with his family. Okay. And then the, the last okay. one, he is on a plane now with his family. Is this correct or incorrect? Correct. Yes, very good. The third one is correct. Good job. All right. So where is she? 
She is on the airport. She is on a plane. Airport. She's not in the airport. She's not in the airport. She is actually on the plane. She is on a plane. She's at the um, she's at the airport. Not the airport. She is on a plane. Where is she? She is on a she is at the doctor office. Good. She is at the doctor's office. Very good. And so she's going to change screen for us. I don't know why it's so slow today. Hmm. Why is this not working? Hold on, I'm sorry. So have you seen any movies lately? No. No, no movies lately, okay. Have you seen any Sonic the Hedgehog cartoons lately? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. All right, so what time do you wake up in the morning? Do you know what time you woke up this morning? Mm. No. Was it early? Yes. Was the sun already up or was it coming up? Sun already up. It was. It was already up. Okay. All right. Very good. All right, so now let's see if we can find some of these objects. Mm. Okay, you know what this one is right here? No. This is called a pink flamingo. Can you say pink flamingo? Pink flamingo. Yes, and where do you think we can find pink flamingos? I don't know. Can we find them on a farm or at the zoo? At the zoo. Zoo, very good. Do you see the sumo wrestler? Right here? Mm. Sumo? No. The sumo what? wrestler? Can you see yes. can you see where I'm circling? We yes. can find the sumo wrestler in Japan, right? No. No? Okay. All right, let's see if we can continue. These ones are on scramble words. And where do you think these animals live? How about this one? Where do you think this one lives? In the farm. This one's a farm animal. Can you name all the farm animals in this picture? Okay, so we have the pig. Do you know what this one's called? No. Rooster. Can you say rooster? Can you say rooster? Rooster. Rooster. Good. And how about a crocodile? Crocodile live in the water. Yes, it does. It lives in the water. Very good. What about this guy right here? What is this? I think this one is a octopus. Yeah, it looks like an octopus or jellyfish. And where do they live? Where do jellyfish live? Do they live in? Do they live in a lake? Or an ocean? Ocean. Ocean. Very good. All right. What other animals in this picture do you think live in the ocean? Fish. Which one? Shark. Fish. Shark. Mm, shark. Dolphin. 
dolphin. Very good. Excellent. How about the sea turtle? Yeah. Yeah. Good. All right. If you can have any kind of animal as a pet, what animal would you choose? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Would you would you have a pet panda? No. No, too big, huh? How about a pet giraffe? No, too long. Yes, too long. It might stick your his head out your window. How about a toucan bird? No, he will fly. <laughs> he will fly away. How about what is this one called? Hippo. Hippo. Would you hippo. have a hippo? Not too big and too fat. <laughs> He's too fat, yes. Okay, how about a turtle? Turtle is, turtle is too slow. Too slow, you're right. He is too slow. Okay, very good. So we're not going to have any of those animals as pets. <laughs> All right, let's read these sentences. Camel. Hungry lives. Camel lives a. In the. In the. Desert. Des desert. Good. Camels live in the desert. In desert. desert. Is the desert a hot climate or a cold climate? Good it. Look at the picture again and tell me, is it a cold climate or a hot climate? Hot. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is a hot climate. Now, how about an octopus? What does it say about an octopus? An, an octopus has eight arms. Uh, uh, an octopus has eight arms. How would you feel if you had eight arms? What would you do? Not with, good. Not good. What would, you'd be able to eat. You'd be able to play. What else would you be able to do with your eight arms? Run. Run. <laughs> Run. Okay. What else can we do? Can we draw and paint at the same time? Yes. Yeah. yeah, it might be quite fun to have eight arms. <laughs> what about the butterfly? Can you read about the butterfly? The last butterfly is so beautiful. Good. Have you ever seen have you ever seen a butterfly? No. No? Okay. Do you know what butterflies are before they have their wings? Do you know what they're called? No. They start as caterpillars, okay? Caterpillars with no wings, and then they build themselves a cocoon, and then they grow their beautiful wings and come out of their cocoon and fly away. Is that pretty neat? <laughs> No. No, it's not. <laughs> How about an eagle? Can you read? Okay, you just follow along. I saw an eagle with a white head. That beetle is shiny and striped. The swan lives on the lake. So out of these three animals, which one do you like the best? Eagle. The eagle, me too. Very good. Where, where is the camel? The camel is in the desert. 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 Good. Where okay. is the octopus? The octopus is in the water. Good. 
where is the butterfly? The butterfly is on the hand. On his hand. His hand. Yes, very good. Now, out of all three of these animals, which one do you like the best? Mm, octopus. Yeah, the octopus. He is very neat, isn't he? He's an interesting yes. water creature. Where is the eagle? The eagle is a the tree. Yes. Where is the beetle? Tree. Yeah. Where is the beetle? The beetle is the beetle is outside. Outside. Good. The beetle is outside. Now, are you inside or outside? Inside. Inside. Am I outside or inside? Do you know? Inside. Inside. Very good. We are both inside. Inside. Good. Where is the swan? I am. The swan is on the lake. Good. The swan is on the lake. Good job reading. Okay. Now, let's talk about farm animals. What kinds of animals live on a farm? You know some of these names? Horse. Mm -hmm. Horse. Cow. Pig. 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 All the next. What is this one right here? You remember earlier I told you? A hen, but this one right here is a rooster. Can you say rooster? Rooster. Rooster. Good. And which farm animals work the hardest? Which ones do you think work the hardest? They do the most jobs. A horse. A horse, okay. How about a hen. cow? Ah, oh, and a hen. How about a cow? No. The, the cow makes the milk, right? Yeah. Okay, very good. Good job. Let's see if we can continue. If it's going to let us. Okay, there we go. Is the butterfly on his hand? Can you read? Yes. I'll read the top one and you read the bottom one. Is the butterfly on his hand? Yes, the butterfly is on his hand. Good. Is the octopus in the desert? No, the octopus is not on the desert. Not in the desert. Okay, good. Is the camel outside? Yes, the camel is outside. Okay, good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> All right, is the octopus in the desert? How would you answer? No, the octopus is that in the desert. Okay, good. Is the butterfly on his hand? Yes, the butterfly is on his head. Good. Is the camel in the tree? No, the camel is in the tree. Where is he if he's not in the tree? He is in the desert. Yes, good. He is in the desert. Okay. Let's see. Ah, 
camels store fat in their backs. Did you know that? No. Hmm, interesting. I didn't know that either. What about octopuses? What do they say about them? Are you read? Okay, hold on. An octopus has three hearts and blue blood. Is that interesting? They have blue yes. blood. Wow, and they have three hearts. How many hearts do we have? One. One, very good. So, why do you think they have three hearts? Because they have eight, eight hearts. Yes, yeah, so they need to have extra blood pumping through their body, their extra body parts. Very good. And what about butterflies? What does this one say? What do butterflies eat? Butterflies eat. This is nectar. Nectar. From what? From flowers. Flowers. Butterflies eat nectar from flowers. Very good. And I saw an eagle with a white head. Have you ever seen an eagle with a white head? No. No? Maybe yes. on maybe on TV? Yeah? Yes. Okay, what about a beetle? What does it say about this beetle? Stop, stop. Stop. That. What is this? That beetle is shiny and striped. You want to repeat it? No. No? Okay. No. We're, we're almost done, my friend. We're almost done. The swan lives on the lake. Can you say this one? The, the swan lives on the lake. On the lake. Very good. Okay. On the lake. Where is the octopus? The octopus is in the Water. Good. Where are the camels? The camel are in the desert. Good. Where is the butterfly? The butterfly is the butterfly is on his head. Good. Excellent. And where is the swan? The swan is on the Nick. Where is the eagle? The eagle is in the tree. And where is the beetle? The beetle is outside. Good. Good job reading. And what is the missing question? Hmm. Where is the beetle? Where is the eagle? Where is the... What is this called? Duck. Not the duck, but it's a swan. High five. Swan. Swan. Where is the butterfly? Okay, no. Are you getting tired? Uh, yeah. Are you getting tired of this one? The butterfly okay. is on his head. Good. Is the beetle outside? Yes, the beetle is outside. Good. Is the swan in the desert? Yes, the swan is in the no, the swan is in the desert. Where is he?
Where where is he? He is a uh, He is in the swamp. The swamp, or is it the lake? He is on the lake. 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 Good. Lake. Okay. Lake. Lake. Okay. Let's see if they have any bonus games for us. Come on! It's not letting me go. I spy games. Do you have any more show and tell items today? Yes. Yeah. Wait for a moment. Okay, I'll find some uh, bonus activities. Okay. Okay, what do you have this today? This is a car. Okay, good. I've got another car. This is a car. And is it big or small? Big. It's big, okay. And who drives it? I drive it. You drive it. Is it a race car or a regular car? Regular. Ah, oh, regular car. Okay. Can it drive up the mountains? Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. All right. Good job. Now I'm going to ask you this question. Do you prefer long hair or short hair? You know short how hair. Long hair? Did you say long hair or short, short hair? hair? Ah, short hair. Okay, very good. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting stuck again. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're going to hear a fairy tale about a young woman named Rapunzel who has very long hair. Have you ever heard this story before? Yeah. Yeah. Did you like this story? Yeah. Yeah. Do they use cars in this story or horses? No. Do they use cars or horses? Horses. Yeah, probably horses. Horses. Good. Now let's Let's look at the picture and try to imagine the story or predict what is going to happen. Can you describe what's in this picture? No. What do you see in this picture? Do you see Rapunzel? Yes. Yeah. Okay, does she have short hair or really long hair? Really long hair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and is she in a house? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or is it a castle? Castle. Yeah, she lives in a castle. And who is this woman right here? Is she a witch? Bad, bad. A bad lady? Bad, is she? Bad. Yeah, she's the bad guy. Yes, she wants Rapunzel's hair. All right, very good job. Now, can you describe the setting of the fairy tale? Does it take place? When do you think it takes place and where? In a castle. In a castle. Is this the desert or the forest? Forest. Yes, it looks like it might be the forest. Okay, very good. All right, so let's just read a little bit because we only have a little bit of time. So let's just do a little bit of a little bit more reading. What does this one say? Can you read? Okay, just follow along, okay? 
there once okay. lived a man and his wife who wished to have a baby. Then one day they learned their wish would come true. One day a witch that lived nearby came and stole the baby. She hid the baby in her tower and never let her go outside. Do you think this sounds like fun? No. No. It's kind of scary, huh? All right, let's see. The witch named the baby Rapunzel, and she grew up to be a beautiful girl with long blonde hair. Whenever the witch wanted to be let into the tower, she would cry from the ground below, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Okay. All right, Rapunzel had long, beautiful hair that shined like gold. When she heard the voice of the witch, she would open the window and let her hair fall down to the ground far below. Then the witch would hold into the hair and climb up to the tower window. Do you think you can grow hair this long? No. No, me neither. <laughs> a few years passed and one day a prince was riding through the forest and stumbled across Rapunzel in her tower. Rapunzel and the prince fell in love, but she couldn't get down from the tower. So when they say the prince was riding through the forest, what do you think he was riding on? A car? Rapunzel hair. Yes, but he was riding on something. Was he riding on a horse or a car? Horse. Yeah, he was riding on a horse through the forest. Very good. Excellent. The prince planned on returning the next day and taking Rapunzel with him. But the witch found out, and when the prince returned, she blinded him with a spell. Rapunzel was sad to see her prince hurt, and she started crying. When her, te when her tears fell on the prince, they healed his eyes, and he was able to see again. That's interesting. The very moment, that very moment, the prince whisked Rapunzel away and took her back to his kingdom. The witch was never heard from again. They were soon married and they lived happily ever after. So this, this story is a little bit different than the movie. But what happens when the witch finds out the prince has visited Rapunzel? What did the witch do? What did she do to the um, prince? I don't know. She wasn't very nice to him, was she? Does the fairy tale have a happy ending? Yes. Yeah, it does. Okay, good. And what happens in the fairy tale? Rapunzel, that is magical and can ha can't happen in real life. What do you think can only happen in a fairy tale and it really can't happen in real life? Mm. Do, you, do you think growing your hair down to the floor like that could really happen? Yes. Maybe. Do you think somebody can climb up hair like a rope? Yes. Maybe. It might hurt a little. <laughs> All right. Very good job. All right, my friend, it looks like today's lesson is over. Uh, what are you going to do for the rest of the day? Watch a TV. Yay. Watch some TV. Go to a school. Oh, do you have to go to school today? No. No, not today. Maybe tomorrow? Mm, yes. Yes, okay. What do you think you're going to learn at school? Chinese. Chinese, very good. All right. 
All right, very good. Okay, Wesley, good job today. Do you have any questions? No. No? Okay, well, we will see you next time, okay? High five. Okay. High five. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye. Bye.